In this video, I'm going to show you how to kick the user outside of an autonomous node and bring them into a workflow where you control 100% of the output. All right, so in this particular case, this is a lead generation bot. So we're going to create a human escalation workflow. So I'm going to just click add workflow here and I'm going to call it HITL for human in the loop. Press enter. Uh, and we're not going to actually build the thing. I'm just going to show you um, some text here just to give you an idea of how it would be. So we'd have some text and we'd have wait for user input and a loop like this. And here the text could be, uh, hello, this is fixed input text. Okay. So you can have all sorts of logic here. You can uh, call even your database, uh, get some information, display it for the user. And since you're using this method to, uh, to display information uh, or images or whatever, uh, it will always be 100% within your control. Okay, so now that we have like some kind of basic workflow like this, uh, let's go back to main and, and I'm going to show you how to send your user to that workflow. Okay, so there's two methods. Uh, the first one is to click uh, add card right here and you have something called transition like this. So you can click that uh, and then where it says condition here, you can type event.preview Oops, like this, and is equal to uh, HITL, right? So this is just plain keyword matching. So if, if the user says HITL uh, in the last message, then we want to send the user to uh, the flow. Uh, so this is the transition, then we need to link it up. So I'm going to right click, execute workflow, HITL, and we're going to send the user right there like this. Okay, so we're going to give it a go. I'm going to type HITL. And we should see the fixed message if all goes well. All right, and there we are. Okay, so that's the way you can do it. If you want to do a keyword like this, which a lot of people require in their projects, uh, you can do that. It's also useful for testing because there's not really any LLM logic involved here. Uh, it will always it will always work. All right, so now I'm going to show you the normal way of doing this, uh, which is less for debugging and probably what you would be doing on a day-to-day. -day. So to do that, just click instructions here, open this up and right where it says behavior, you could actually put it anywhere, but I'm just going to paste this snippet, uh, which is if a user wants to talk to a, a human agent, transition them to the HITL workflow. All right. So that's the instruction, but we don't actually have the HITL workflow here connected. So we're going to have to click add card and where it says HITL here, just click that or drag and drop. And that's all you have to do. Uh, now I'm going to show you it works, but I'm going to delete this first. So, okay, right here. And I'm going to refresh this and I'm going to say, hi, I want to talk to a human, please. All right. And then it should show us the message that is fixed and that's where it is. Okay. So that's how you kick your user to workflows where you can control hundred percent of the outputs. It's very useful. Uh, not everything needs to be uh, processed through an LLM. Some things are sensitive, some things like money, price, uh, uh, transaction, uh, a lot of things you want to have like full control. Uh, and you can always have the autonomous agent kind of be like the concierge pointing in the right direction, doing some simple things. Uh, but when you need a really specialized task, uh, this is how you can send your user uh, on your way. To those things. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to add uh, actions uh, such as a Salesforce action. All right, bye bye.